Hey guys, what's up? You know what I'm noticing? Elves are still at work in my house. They either need to take a break or take home their decorations if they already left. I don't know. I think they left though. We need to make sure they come back and get that. <laughs> Anyways, here's Parker. Doesn't he look so cute? So Jackie did say I did not do the sides right. And she was supposed to fix him, but she hasn't yet. It's okay. She'll get around to it. But look at him. He's in this sloth um, romper. I picked this up for him at Walmart. It's a gray and like a bronze colored stripe romper. And then it's the cuffs are navy blue and around the ankles navy blue. He's wearing his Vans. And it's got a sloth hanging out on a branch. Just looks so cute. And Jackie's back to work and she's working on her customs. And shh, don't tell her I showed you this baby. But look, it's a baby she's working on. She's looking so cute. These are the very early stages of her becoming alive. I'm working on this Chase right here. Gonna get back to work on him soon. Just getting my day started. So he's gonna be available for sale soon. He's so cute. We always have Yoda staring at us in the kitchen because that's just where Tambri puts them. This is her Hellboy, but you know what? I think if you bought this Yoda, you gotta get two, it's like kill two birds with one stone. You can have a Hellboy, and then his, cause his horns are magnetic, you took him off, and then you got a girl there. So like, what? Two different babies. You can just have like a red Yoda girl. And then on those days where the baby wants to be devilish, you give its little horns and it's a hellboy. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who bought stuff um, prior to Christmas. I know packages still have not arrived. We have a couple international packages that our USPS asked us if we that we should probably hold them until we get to December 31st because they have had so much mail pile up they think it's got to be from covid so we're holding a couple international orders to ship on the 31st that way they will not get stuck for like three weeks in fresno we don't know what's going on in fresno but it has been a huge hold up on mail and things are traveling super slow when they leave here so it's just really weird times and we're being cautious with a couple orders because we don't want them to get lost because they're big orders and it's just like, what is going on? So hopefully USPS gets it together soon after the New Year's and packages get back to normal. As for right now, it's just like a waiting game. Um, I have packages that didn't even make it home in time for Christmas. And you want to know when they were mailed out? They were mailed out on the 6th and the 7th of December. And I'm not even sure if they've arrived yet, actually. I was monitoring some, and some had started arriving this week. So that is some really crazy stuff. Because I got an email on Sunday, and I was like, what? Checked, and yeah, some packages were still traveling. And, and even there, it says packages going to arrive later than normal. It's just insane. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys Faith. Look at her. She's using this blanket. It's from the 80s. What? Yes, this is actually my baby blanket. One of my baby blankets. Um, so cute. Came across these last night in some boxes that we just never unpacked when we moved because we didn't need to. Because it has stuff like this in there. And I decided to open one because I was looking for a specific childhood stuffed animal. And well, I came across the blankets and I was like, yeah, I'm going to bring these out and use them in my nursery because we have the vintage look going. I mean, I know I'm vintage. This blanket's 38 years old, but hey, it still looks good. And they match the blanket. I mean, they match the nursery. So with that being said, I actually took a lot of time yesterday. Wait, or, what? are you 38 already? I thought you were 37. No, 38, I think. I think. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to show you guys the nursery because I spent quite a bit of time yesterday fixing it up. All right, so I'm not using the crib over here. I'd actually like to get rid of this, but I'm going to use it as storage because I do need the area. As you can see, I have like, this is for headbands, and um, it's mostly headbands, I think, and some random odds and ends, and oh my gosh, I have a brand new hair thing right here. Well, it's a toothbrush, but I use them for hairbrushes. Cool, and then some blankets there. And then obviously the little bouncer chairs there. So this is like the nursery is running the wall like it does. We've got our um, little people here. She's made by Xavier. She's the original Cabbage Patch. So cute. This is not from her time, actually. They remade these. I didn't know that until I got this one home one day. 
I was like, hey, you've been remade. Um, it's actually pretty current. Let me see. It was like, yeah, 2013 it was done. Crazy. Um, that was a Christmas gift last year from Jackie. This was a Christmas gift from a lovely fam- family. Um, one of the fans here sent it to us. This year's Christmas gift. Oh, so cute from Eva. Another family member. And it's the subscribe pillow is actually a Christmas gift too. And so there's a receiving blanket, which I decided to use as wall decorations. And we've got the Cabbage Patch border going, of course. We have the my one of my favorite pieces, this bassinet that I found on eBay. And so this is one of Tambry's baby blankets, actually. Then there are some of my baby blankets, this one and this one. And Jackie's vintage worm. That, oh my gosh, this guy we got for like a buck fifty, I think. I got him last year for Christmas. Come to find out, Taylor and Jillian have one just like it. So cool. Heather says she's convinced this bottle was a gift from somebody. I think it was probably from Tracy. She sends me um, vintage stuff quite frequently. So I'm going to say that until somebody else claims it. And then my piggy bank from Jeff. So cute. But this cabbage patches and then this crib is from Jeff as well. And Saskia's in here. Look at her. And then that's one of my baby blankets. She's in this vintage brand new Carter sleeper. If you want to see her get changed into it, you can uh, go to my TikTok. I actually made a video sharing the sleeper there. And then I put her in it. You don't actually get to see her get changed, but you see the whole video. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I think it is. I explained the uh, sleeper. That we actually found at the Goodwill not too long ago for $3.50. And it is brand new. So it's a Hallmark. But every never been used. I don't know what year it is because I actually haven't even looked for the year. But check this out. It is so cute. Super cute. Love it. Oh, my gosh. Adorable. I wonder what year it is. It has so many different pages for the baby. And then back here you have, like, pages for photos or documents. Welcoming home, baby. Yeah, so photos and documents. I don't know what year. Let's see if it says right here. Somebody sees the year because I'm not seeing a year. Hmm. Does anybody recognize it from your kid? Did your kids have it? Anyway, so yeah, found this brand spanking new. Adorable. Loved it. It is so cute. Just don't know what year it is. So yeah, and this is a Goodwill find from the past too. But anyways, that's how the nursery is looking. Diapers, um, face clothes, Saskia's clothes, Charlotte's clothes, and Parker's clothes are in the room. And then down here is like bottles and some blankets. I need to put that Christmas blanket away. So I'm happy. It was a lot of work, but it was so fun. Put my sign there. Just a little random sign. Another receiving blanket that Jackie got me probably like two Christmases ago. Or maybe last year. I'm not sure. And then we have a little poinsettia uh, fairy cabbage patch. is really cute. And then the Christmas stocking. Maybe I should put those away. Since they don't really go with the whole theme. But you know what? They're still really cute. So maybe I'll just leave them out. So yeah. A couple books on the wall. I'm happy with how it turned out. Loving it. I had... Faith in there the other night. I should put her in there. So cute. Oh, this is, I really love this bassinet. I love it. Because, and also, it was a brand new find on eBay in the original box, which was just insane. But this is one of my favorite things. And then this is one of my favorite things as well. Because these cribs are crazy, insane to find. So, ah, oh, it's a porta crib. So, yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you. And you know what? We're going to change Faith. Ha! <laughs> All right. So I put Faith in the bassinet. So what she's going to wear today is this really cute um, sweatpant overall set from Target. It's just one you. It's like this seafoam type green color. And then it has a 3D lamb in the middle. It's really cute. It's got a white shirt and then gray outlines of lambs all over it. On the back, there's two little pockets. Love it. And I just found 
a headband that matches that we have, so I cut it to be a little smaller for her head. Hopefully it's the right size. Actually, I think it might still be too big, but that's okay. And then um, we've got the crib shoes. These are from Children's Saloon. I've been asked that a couple of times. And then, um, where are they from? And then some white socks. So, um, a question, actually, there's something I really wanted to talk about. I have been asked, uh, sometimes I regret ever making these videos. Where the dolls move, cry, pee, and poop. Um, because many, that has to be one of the most popular questions I get is, where can I buy a doll that cries, peeps, poops, uh, burps and moves and I'm like well that's a real baby so uh, I don't know where you can buy that but that's not a doll unless you want like a baby alive then you can get those features and they're like well I've seen in your videos I'm like yeah it's called role playing I add in sounds I, I pause the video I change I move the baby's position so it looks like the baby's moving just like Forrest many people can still not grasp the concept that that baby does not really blink or, um, yeah, that baby doesn't really blink. I'm going to turn her this way so you guys can see her face better. Everyone thinks Forrest really blinks. Well, Forrest was a doll that I had two heads for. I had an awake uh, version of the kit and I had a sleep version of the kit. So I would pause the video, decapitate the baby, basically, and change its head so every time I wanted the baby to blink I pause the video change its head recorded pause the video change its head back recorded it was a huge process it took a long time that's why you guys don't see a lot of videos with that doll doing that particular thing because it's quite a bit of work to do stop um, motion actually so stop motion is how I make my dolls appear like they're moving um Sound effects are added in. Dolls can kind of drink. I mean, you have a drink in wet silicone, and just by the gravity, you have to get a large cut nipple. There's a tube that goes in the silicone doll because it's not cloth. You can't have liquid in a cloth body. It'll mold. That's pretty gross. It'll be wet. Um, nobody wants to carry around a wet swimsuit all day, right? Well, that's kind of how it would be. So in the silicone, there's a tube that goes down, and... Gravity pulls the fluid through, so it looks like the doll is peeing. But, um, so yeah, so Reborns don't do any of that. They don't drink bottles. It's it's all it's all done. It's illusions. You know, it's tricks. We bend the nipple so you can't see if the doll's mouth is closed. See, I bent the nipple. You think the nipple went in, but no, it didn't. I just bent it. But this doll, she actually can take a nipple. She's one of the very few kits that can take a nipple. So if you want a reborn doll that can take a nipple in the pacifier, you're pretty much left with the only option of purchasing a twin A because... Um, I mean, I haven't found many kits that can take a full nipple, and this doll kit can. I was told one time an Andrea Arcello kit could, but I didn't have quite an easy um, time as I do with Twin A getting the pacifier in the mouth. So that one only concerned me because of the paint rubbing and stuff. Look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, this baby is just so adorable. Yeah, so there, the dolls don't do these things that real children will do so if you want that the best doll that you can get that does all of that really is a baby alive they do it all um but they don't look realistic yeah i get that so you guys have to understand as um collectors and i'm really really sorry but yeah it, it's all sound effects added it's kind of like we're magicians you know we're magicians we just we do things to we don't want to deceive you with the baby. We're really just trying to have more fun, you know. We just want to make things more exciting for when you're watching. So we just do fun things with the dolls. And some of us can be, whoa, <laughs> can get a little more creative than others. And it can look very real like these dolls are really moving. Um, but, you know, fishing wire goes a long way. It's kind of invisible. And, um... You know, it can make your baby look like it's moving when it's really not. And that pause button does wonders for stop motion. So, yeah. So I hope that helps some um, parents who are struggling trying to find their children a doll, that a reborn doll that does all these functions. 
And um, it's just not out there. It really isn't. Now, you could add a sound box into them. Yoda's got a pretty cool sound box in there. So you could purchase the Yoda and put that little sound box in these babies and um, have some fun with that. So then your baby would make some cooing sounds. That's a good idea, uh, actually. And those are actually the same kind of sound boxes I use when I make it sound like the baby is crying in videos. I have sound boxes that I've used and I have recordings and stuff as well. But nowadays I just use these sound boxes that I have from um, different toys that I've bought specifically just to take the sound box out of. <laughs> just for the videos, I'm like, I'm just buying you to take the sound box out. All right, there she is dressed, looking so cute. This is my third time trying to record this ending. We're gonna keep it short and sweet because my app keeps shutting off saying it's not working right. I don't know what's going on, but there she is. I wanted to tell you just really quickly that this was given to me when I had Tambri. So cute. I love this kit. If you want a kit that can take a full pacifier, Twin A is about the only kit that really does this without having to invest into full body silicones or a silicone doll. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay positive. Don't give into negativity and start questioning everything around you. Question it. Question it. Look for the truth. Yandex.com is a great way to find out what's really going on. So if you have any questions about what you're hearing politically, search it online. Or even what you're hearing about reptilians, search it on Yandex.com because it's crazy. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye. Stay safe.